Welcome back to the channel where we are building a video game from scratch using Love 2D and Lua. Yesterday we did, we did some Delta Time stuff, so even though our M3 chip is running the game at 165 frames a second, um, our, our movement is, is consistent, you know? It is independent of our frame rate. But, if we look at our spe spell casting and our knockback, um, <laughs> they are not scaled with Delta Time. So, we need to at least fix that today. And my, my poor computer part that was supposed to be delivered today to fix my PC wasn't delivered today. So, it might be another week of not streaming on the main machine, which is getting frustrating, but um, there's a small chance the office could have it tomorrow, so I'm hoping that's the case because all of our tiles that we're rendering here are from a tiled.lua or uh, an actual tiled um, application file that is saved on our M2 drive that's inside the PC that is not able to boot right now, so it's tough for us to edit anything on the map because of that reason. But yeah, let's see if we can figure out some Delta Time goodness for our other stuff. So we know in our play state, I think it's in our play state where we're doing this magic casting. Where are we doing, what do we even call it? Uh, Manus spell casting. So we've got this focus indicator. Okay, so where are we modifying this focus indicator axe? Okay. Right here. So anytime we're doing this focus indicator X, we need to just scale this by delta time so that it doesn't go crazy. So anytime we're doing this, yeah, we just need to scale it by delta time so we can go ahead, come in here and just scale it by delta time, which is the time in seconds since the last frame elapsed. So the way I wrap my head around this is like, You know, the game can be multiple different frame rates depending on the machine. Some machines might only run it at 30. This machine's running it at 150. Um, so the idea is we have to modify each frame by the fraction delta time, which is just like the fraction of time since the last frame elapsed. So by multiplying everything by delta time, then in any given one second, we will have our our normal adjustment. So that's the kind of way I try to wrap my head around it is like, you know, we're trying to make it a smaller value so that um, over the course of one second, it'll be equal with every frame rate. So if we scale all that by delta time, we also need to, we need to go in and find where we're doing our knockback. Anytime we do our knockback, I think we need to scale it by delta time also. looking better other than hey soup welcome in thank you thank you for the resub dude i appreciate that um we aren't getting our knock we aren't getting knocked back anymore and we can't even we can't even cast any spells anymore because our regeneration on our bonus is jacked but so soup my my cpu cooler 
um, that was supposed to be delivered today was not delivered today. So, uh, I, I don't know, could be, a, could be another week of, of non-main machine programming. You know, I'm almost at the point where I'm just going to buy a docking station for the Mac. Yeah, it was Amazon. And it's frustrating because the, the cooler used to come with the mounting brackets for my chipset. But as of eight months ago, they stopped including it, and they didn't say that on their website until you, like, dig really deep into motherboard compatibility. And then I can see that it was there, so it's like, I've had the freaking thing torn apart for two, two weeks now, when I would have not taken it apart knowing I needed the mounting bracket, and I just still don't have the mounting bracket, so it's getting frustrating. Okay, we need to go to our modest regeneration and make sure we're, we're increasing it right here. Modest drain, we need to scale this by delta time also. And then where is our... Let's... Yeah, this is, this is, um, this is a different Sonic Pi script I wrote. Um, this is one off my old machine. So yeah, this is different. Show you what it is. We can I think the, the hi-hats were a little too loud. Dude, I like Mac. It's just like all my stuff was set up. You know, my stream deck was set up, my OBS, my stream avatars, my everything was set up on PC and then the files for, uh, I don't know. I, I, I do, I do kind of want to switch to Mac for the stream, but also I like that my PC is kind of my dedicated spot. I just turn it on and it's ready to stream, you know? Whereas here, you know, I'm working on like, I've got WebStorm open. Um, I've got WebStorm open doing this stuff. So it's like, I've got, you know, other projects that I'm working on separate from the stream. And then it just is a lot to kind of juggle if I'm streaming every day to kind of like, just like redo my my setup so it's kind of nice to have the dedicated PC just for streaming but I don't know I'll figure it out I, I I'm getting to the point where I might I might just retire my PC and just get a, a docking station for the back laptop I don't know and then I'm wanting to check out Soup, have you heard of... No, it doesn't matter, but... This Z text editor? Uh, I was wanting to give this a shot and see what it's about. Um, so I might check that out today, I don't know. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, I, I heard some good things about it, so I'm kind of interested in just taking a peek at it. <laughs> yeah. People get, yeah, people get really into their tools. I, you know, I mean, and then I'm the weirdo in, in NeoVim trying to practice it. Um, we need to make sure our, I'm going to try taking out, I'm going to try taking out the delta time scaling on the Manus regen just because that was super slow. And, and I'm just going to see if maybe there's a better way. We messed up, we messed up, we messed up. Yeah, I definitely want to give it a, a, a try here. Because I did get... This is looking more stable. Okay. Our well, total to knockback is, is still very much wrong but the spell cast 
Spell cast is looking pretty good. Particles are looking pretty good. Knockback is pretty jacked. So let's see. Yeah. We are scaling knockback down. Yeah, we're scaling it with delta time, so that should be smaller. It should be smaller. Oh, that's just for the player's knockback. So, let's see what happens if we get hit. And if that looks right. No. Okay, so our knockback looks way jacked. And then the, the DX shrinks over time, so I think I think we might need to scale that slowing down. It's like time to stop. It is like the, the the variable it's named or something. Yeah, see, that's too much. But I think what we need to do is wherever, like once we become hit or once we become damage flash, I think we have a time to slow down or something. Variable that we're slowing it down by. Uh, timer. Not sure where we're doing that slowdown. It might be in the entity. No. We do here, this is where we're changing the gecko's knockback, so we scale this by delta time, and I still think. I, I want to say it's in our entity class that we're doing the slow down to stop. And I mean that like once you get hit, you have a certain speed, and that speed will slow down, you know, over time until you're stopped. Um, so I think if, if an entity is hit, I think we do this slow to stop thing. But I'm not seeing it. Slow to stop, that's what it is. Okay, we are scaling that by delta time, so that's good. So let's see if it if it looks better for the Gakos now. They shouldn't fly as far back. Well, they don't fly at all. Okay. get rid of we we know we don't need this stuff anymore we were testing that out but it wasn't right so we could get rid of it I don't know where it is. Slow to stop. That's scaled by delta time. So as long as... I'm going to take out the... Well... 
yeah, I'm gonna take this out because we're scaling the, the slowdown by delta time. And as long as the knockback is a good amount, um, then we're already doing it. So we should be able to just get my magic wand of banning out. There we go. Yeah, let's try this. Okay, the geckos should not fly as far away, but they do. <laughs> so maybe the maybe the move is now we just need to tweak the knockback to where we're happy with it. Um because we're not this isn't something that should be scaled by delta time because it, it should be independent of of frame rate um, I want to say I want to say that we yeah I don't think Yeah, I don't think this matters that much. Well, I don't think putting Delta Time here. Did our stream just crash? Shoot. That's the other thing. I don't have a I don't have a um, Ethernet for the Mac laptop here, so we're just going old school Wi-Fi here, or new school Wi-Fi, I guess. Soup, do you have a do you have a Mac laptop or do you have like a whatever they call it? The uh You got a laptop and a iMac or whatever it's called? What do they call it these days? iMac for the desktop and then a MacBook for the laptop. Mac Studio, that's what it is. Mac Studio, and, and then the Mac Minis is what I was thinking of. I was kind of thinking of a Mac Mini because of the way my bank account is set up. <laughs> but yeah, I would need Ethernet. And then the thing that I couldn't get behind exactly is that um, I like the Minis. I just don't have an audio jack. Like, I don't know... Because my microphone, you know, right now, I'm plugging right into the back of my motherboard and my PC, and it's got a line in, and I can just plug my microphone just straight through that. So I don't know if I need a USB interface or something to send it to the Mac Mini if I end up getting one of those. Okay, I think, I think what we want to do is stop scaling the knockback here. Yeah, just like a 3.5 mil jack to plug in the audio into the... Um, yeah, you know, I've got a... Uh, I've got a USB interface. It's just, like, noisy. And I don't know if I've got, like, some random bad settings on there or what. I don't have it right here, but I've got it somewhere. Yeah, I'm thinking about it, because I really just am hating Windows at the moment. Yeah, maybe maybe you should send me one that works good for you. I mean, the one I bought is probably like 11 years old at this point, so... Yeah, actually, yeah, it is 11 years old, because I've had it since I had the PC, so... Okay, I think the move is we just change the knockback to a value that makes sense now, and, and we're scaling, we're already scaling the, uh, oopsie, yeah, they shouldn't be able to do that to us, so, yeah, let's just try scaling the knockback down for the geckos now, spell knockback, where is our constants? Is this music too creepy? I don't know, it's kind of weird. I kind of like it. 
1.4. Let's just try 0.4. Okay, yeah, that's not good enough. Maybe just one. That's pretty good. Yeah, maybe it's a bit too much. They shouldn't fling out. That's, that's looking pretty good, though, on... Let's maybe try 0.8. Okay, our mana strain is still not working. That's looking pretty good though. And then let's see how their knockback is for us. Ooh. Dang, they go they go hand. No, that's pretty good. We do we do still have like a little bit of AI to work out with the geckos. Like they should pick the nearest edge to walk to and walk that way. Um because look at that one, he's gonna walk all the way across. I love the camouflage idea for the geckos. I think that would be a really fun thing. So it looks like the, the animations are pretty frame rate in, in, independent. Our walking is pretty frame rate independent. We do need our modest drain to actually drain. We're not draining our magic here. So maybe we don't scale this by delta time. No, I mean, how come, yeah, that looks like the right speed, but how come it's the right speed without us scaling it by delta time? That's kind of... Exactly. I mean, it looks good to me. It looks, it looks good. I'm just worried that at a different frame rate, it, it'll change because we're not scaling it by delta time. Part of me thinks we need to scale it and then just adjust the um, whatever the drain factor is. The minus drain. Let's see what that minus drain is. Zero point four five. Okay, so here's what we're gonna try on the drain. Which is where? Right here. When we do the drain, let's go ahead and scale it by delta time so we get the frame rate independence. But then let's let's up our modest drain. Um, what? Let's go to play state. make this a much bigger number. Let's let's see what 45 gets us. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> wow, okay, it is still it's draining so slow. Let's 
so wrong. I guess we don't. This was what, 0.45? And it was looking it was looking pretty right at 0.45 as long as we weren't scaling it by delta time. So that's one thing I want to check on my other machine. It's like, does this we don't scale this by delta time, does it seem to drain at the same rate? Because maybe we're scaling our, our bonus already? I don't even know, by delta time somewhere? Yeah, we don't scale our regen by delta time either. And, you know, I, I think that is way too fast to drain because we, we, we actually made it pretty, pretty generous so that I can test a lot of spells. So I think the regen... I think the drain is too fast and the regen is actually looking pretty good. Yeah, dude, if you find anything good, uh, let me know. I mean, I'm still... You know, I've got to... <laughs> yeah, that's the hard thing is like, we not we want nice things and we like the stuff we like, so it's like, it gets pretty steep pretty fast. Let's leave a note for us to say that the Manus and the Drain and stuff, Volt 1, Universal Audio is the gold standard. Okay, hey, 130 isn't bad. The one I have, let's see the one I have, I've got... Let me see if I can remember. I think it's just called... That looks nice. That looks really nice. I like that. Because I do... I mean, ultimately, I would like... I would like to have a second camera to come over here to the piano so that I can, like, take a break from programming and have the piano music come into the stream so I can just play piano on stream. I think that would be fun. And then Elgato has a Wave XLR. I don't even know about that. It looks just like the stream deck. I like that kind of simple interface. And if it can pair with the stream deck, that might be a good one. Gives my mic superpowers. That could be nice. Is it just plug in via USB? Yeah. I mean, I've got a nice, um, recorder and preamp and stuff. I just need to get it into the computer. I think my motherboard was like one of, or my, yeah, my computer was like one of the last ones to not have a USB-C. It was like 12 years ago. Um, and then what else? Uh, I got to, oh, the one I've got, I want to say it's called Art... USB interface. This one. This is what I've got. I'm surprised I found it. This is the one I've got, yeah. This thing is probably like 12 years old by now. How much is this thing? Maybe I'm just using it wrong. I mean, I can never get good sound from that thing.
90 bucks. So yeah, I guess I paid about 100 bucks probably a decade ago to get it. I don't know. I'll give it a shot. I'll see. Do you have do you have any um Do you have any recommendations on like a dock or anything for for Mac? Or for MacBook, I should say. Okay, yeah. You've got the whole... If you got a studio, yeah, I guess you aren't doing any docking action. I, I guess I'm just missing... Because, like, I mean... I'm a video editor by trade, so, like, I have, like, literally 12 external hard drives plugged in at any given moment because I can't quite afford an ass <laughs> so so I, I need something with some ports but the Mac studio isn't as expensive as I thought it was but I guess it depends it gets expensive if you deck it out huh Oh, yeah. Holy shit, though. What the hell? Even the $2,000 one has a 30-course GPU? But this is like... The M2... Doesn't the M2 kind of, like, share CPU and GPU? So I kind of don't get how they've got, like... Oh, I guess it's the unified memory they're talking about. Man, okay, so cores are, yeah, cores are separate. I love, I, I'm, I've been loving the M3 laptop. I've, I've been loving it. It was a really good move, I think. It got me through boot camp like butter, you know? Man, but decking this thing out, if you deck this thing out, it would be like... You know, just give me the old, give me the whole shebang. Give me a, give me a, give me the shebang. It's only, what, 10k? <laughs> yeah, I bet you did deck it out, dude. Oh, oh man. That's a lot of numbers. Yeah, that's a lot of numbers. I think my my laptop was 1300 which was the biggest purchase of the past couple of years for me. Yeah, I'll have to look into it. I mean, I I hope my CPU Dude, I still I'm I still have my iMac from 2011 and I used to be I used to stream on that thing. So that thing got me... That thing was like a freaking dual-core Intel chip. And I was streaming just last year on that thing. You know, I put Pop! OS on there. And then I was streaming. Shit, we'll just go back to that thing. But yeah, I miss the Stream Deck. I like the Stream Deck. It's really nice. Um... But yeah, I just hate Windows. Windows sucks. Let's leave us a note to go... We need to harpoon our notes. For sure. Because yeah, I don't have the file for tiled, so I can't draw new tile maps at the moment because that's on my M2 that is unbootable right now. Not my M2 Mac, but the M2 M.2 drive in my PC that is unbootable right now. So that sucks. Yeah, let's look through this. We did... Um... 
Um, you know, the, the Puny Magus was working on a map tool. I, I don't know if he completely built it. I think he's, like, modifying it. I'm not sure if he built it himself, but he's, because he's doing some Love 2D stuff, too. Let's see. Yeah, it's called the Puny Editor, so Puny Magus must be working on that. I know he said he was working on it. I don't know if he, like, was, like, modding one that existed already, but it looks like it's called the Puny the Puny Editor. So, yeah, I I asked Puny if, if he would want to come on the stream and talk about it. Um, but he said uh, not so good at English, so he turned me down, but... I am wanting to host some people, including you, Soup, and, and just talk about dev stuff. So that is still on the table. You know, if I had a working computer, I would have been testing that stuff already. Um, for for PC at least. Um, but yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm hoping my my CPU pieces are actually at the office and they can get back to me tomorrow with it. Or someone stole it off my porch. My apartment. Stoop. That'd be such a bummer if someone stole it. It's like, dude, what are you gonna do with a very specific chipset mounter for a CPU cooler? Like, <laughs> if they stole it, have fun. Have fun. Having no use for that fucking thing. Yeah, I would like to I would like to work on a death animation for the character. Maybe we can do a little bit of that today. We can work on that without our tiled map. Um, we did fix this the other day, just yesterday, and we did add our animatables into the map data downloader, which is cool. Um, I do want to possibly see. Oh wow, you, you you caught him? Oops. I like the old um <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking of Porch Pirate, but then I thought of that scene in Billy Madison where they light the <laughs> the back of poop on fire in front of the house. <laughs> oh, That's a good one. Yeah, you know what? I, I want to see if, if we can incorporate... Prosto sent us a way to... have internal... Or like to, to bypass our global problem because of the closure effects in, in Lua functions. So I want to see if we can incorporate Prosto closure closure function or closure fix for uh, local variables. If we can do that, we can tidy up our data downloader a bit. But I don't know if that's even. Yeah, maybe we should just skip that. She called and said she yelled at him. Told me I could pick it up. Oh, wow. So she found it. Wow. And it's, it's like, why would you... Like... if you, it, it could be, like, tampons. It's like, who knows what's in there? Like, a CPU cooler. Like, why would you just steal random-ass shit? Like, it's one thing, like, I get, like, if someone's walking out of the Apple store holding an Apple bag, that's probably a decent thing to steal. I get that. But, but, like, most things on Amazon are just like, oh, yeah, I bought Q-tips. Or I bought a CPU mounting bracket for my LGA 2011 chipset for my Noctua D15 cooler. 
Yeah, like no. Like, <laughs> okay. Let's let's see about like a falling animation. That could be cool. Yeah, I get that. It's like. It's also like, you know, like, what's the logic in ding-dong ditching? It's like, well, there's not really logic, it's just what kids do. Man, I don't even have the, uh... I don't have even my... My sprites, references. Um... We could open up... I don't even know. Let's open up our Git repo for Tasho here. We'll just open up our master sheet. So, if we wanted to make a character falling, right? We, let's let's also open up the player atlas. So we've at least got reference. So it's like we can kind of start with with this as something close to this as the first frame. You know what? Let's let's make a new file so that we can get animations working so we can say that's the first frame we want it I want it kind of like a, like if 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 he walks in the, the pit that he would kind of you know he would start big get small but also kind of like rotate as he's falling so like it's hard because we can't Rotate looks so bad. You know, like that. Okay. Maybe we let's let's test starting out with with this as a first frame. And where do we add a frame here? So that we can say you know, I kind of want, actually, I kind of want his first frame to be hands out. Like he's, you know, falling. Yeah. Yeah, Soup, I'm down. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap up, you know, not too long. Sounds good, dude. Yeah. Do your thing. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Looks so... I mean, I get why it looks so bad rotated, right? Because it's like, it's not meant. It looks so bad rotated.
That doesn't look half bad if his face wasn't so jacked. looks so weird. You know, like a falling guy. You know. Like a guy who's falling. You know. Just like Tashio. Looks exactly like him. Honestly, it doesn't look that awful. It's it's this that like the the eye changes is what really looks funky. He almost looks like Ponyo here. I kind of love how abstract he kind of looks. His eyes are doing some weird stuff. Make sure his eyes are kind of at the same point. Yeah, it'll look a little less weird. so weird. I kind of I kind of like how abstract he looks though. Reminds me of Ponyo. That looks so weird. No, it kind of works. Like, it doesn't... It kind of works in a weird way. Hmm. 
mean, it certainly looks like he's falling. I think that, that eyeball might be too much. Tasha. It certainly looks like he's falling, and I, I think this this could use a little more darker colors, and maybe a bit smaller. I think this should be red. I think the whole square here needs to move down into the right one. No. It's like he needs one more tiny frame like this. like a little different, right? So like...
I kind of like it. And then if we had, you know, just a couple of frames of, like, nothing before it looped, it'd be easier to see. It'd be easier to kind of just stay with the fall for a little bit. I need to see what it looks like with like a black background. I kind of like it. It's kind of interesting. He does look like he kind of like falls into the darkness there. There's like one, there's like one scene here where he doesn't have, 
his arm here. So like, he doesn't have a left, his right arm, and then he doesn't have a right arm there, and then just his feet, and then his arms back to his arms. So it's like, it's like I think if we switch this, where he's got an arm still. But no foot. Yeah, I think I like it. He does look like he's kind of falling into the darkness, which is what we want. Sweet. I like that. Let's um let's save this. We'll save it. We'll save it as a .a sprite in our graphics folder for now. I'll properly export it um, into their own sheets at some point. We'll have to pull it into the sprite sheet, make a little animation table for it. But um, I think that's all I'm going to do today. So we fixed some scaling for delta time for our knockbacks, which is good. We might have incorrect modest rendering, but um, at least for frame rate interdependence, let's let's add um, Falling animation and um, made falling animation and and added proper DT adjustment for knockback. Spell knockback. I'll just say knockback. Hola, how's it going? You caught me right at the end here. So we just made a little animation for our character falling into a pit. Um, we are not going to be implementing it into our game today, but if you want to see the game, making a little top-down Zelda-like game. And now we do have like pits that we can fall into. I don't have any on this current map, but... Um, we 
we are going to make it so that if you fall into the pit, then this animation will play. And then, you know, you'll lose some life. But yeah, we are going to raid out. Uh, because I've got to work on some other stuff today, but thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping I get my new CPU part, so we'll be back on the main machine, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later. To the point I want to get across.